Hello, my name's Alicia. Welcome to my channel. Today I have for you a HelloFresh. This is my first time getting HelloFresh, although I have done these meal kits from other companies. They come with recipe cards, and that's what my husband and I usually do them for. I've saved all the recipe cards from other companies um, because you can recreate them. So one of the ones is Sweet Heat Shrimp Tempura Bowls, and it gives you really nice instructions. Um, another one we got was chimmy chicken and yellow rice bowls. I was hoping my daughter might like this. This one I am fairly sure I did not pick, but my husband will like it. I'm not so much into the pork sausage, it just depends. Um, so double cheese and pork sausage flatbread. I will say that this particular company's website was a little bit confusing. Like they automatically choose some for you and, but, and so then if you didn't choose anything that they, you would just get their automatic choices. And, but then you could go in and change it. And I know I went in and changed it. So I don't know whether I didn't save it appropriately, but um, it's a little, I mean, it's fine. We'll eat it, but I know that's not what I picked. So everything comes nicely packed and they are in three bags. And I don't know whether you, yeah, you can see each bag is labeled and everything is nice and cold. They give you like delivery notifications all the time. We were just getting ready to go out on a hike and um, I got the notification on my phone that they were almost here. So that is really nice. So everything's really cold. I like that everything's prepackaged and, and they also have extras. And so I ordered some extras. Their extras are way cheaper than the grocery store. So I was really excited about that. And so I know the last time I did a meal company, very similar packaging. They had these really nice big ice blocks. Yes, theoretically these are reusable, but if you do this every week, then this, is, you know, you can't, I don't have a big freezer in the garage. So unfortunately these go in the trash, but it does have a recycling label. So hopefully our city does that number. So my extras, they had two chicken breasts for $4.99. And these are probably smaller than what I would get at the store, but at least at our grocery store, chicken breast for two of them can be $8.99, $7.99. So getting two for $5 was a good deal. They, I will say that again, these are a little bit smaller than maybe what I would get at the grocery store. Um, another extra I got, which I, I forgot, I guess I didn't remember getting ground beef, but we got a pack of ground beef. And I think this was like $2.99 or something really cheap. But again, I think it's small. It's not even a full pound, but it will be great for spaghetti. I don't, I see, I don't know. I feel like they're sending me crazy things that I don't remember. Um, but this is probably the, oh, some of this may be for, I've lost my mind. All right, so there are extras. And so, okay. So the chicken breasts were the some of the extras. And then the ground beef goes with, This is the second time I've already filmed this. I feel like I should start over again, but I'm not going to. So I feel like they sent the wrong recipe cards. So that makes sense. Okay. So this one I knew I did not get. So on the package here, it says mozzarella stuffed Caprese burgers, which is what I ordered. And I didn't remember ordering this as an extra. So I do believe these two things go together. The shrimp go with my shrimp. So they just did not send me the right card. I will have to reach out to customer services and get that. So back to my extras. Um, they had sweet Italian um, chicken sausage. Again, this was like $2.99 or something really cheap. I, it is a small package, so you do get what you pay for, but I am gonna put this with stuffing and broccoli and bake it in the oven and it, with a little bit of cheese, and this will be really good. And you know, for $2.99, I don't have to battle the grocery stores. So they do have lots of extras. Like you could get a salad, you could get French bread. And then another extra I got, 
Again, I'm, you know, I probably didn't really notice online the ounces. So this is a pork loin and I bought a cooking bag for this, but this is very small. So probably, I mean, barely a portion for my husband and I. Um, so again, probably a good price, but I, in the future would need two of these. So I bought a cooking bag. So I will throw these in the bag with the seasoning, with vegetables, and it's an easy peasy dinner. Um, again, cheap. This was probably again, $4.99 or something. And I probably comparative to if I got a, the full size one at the grocery store, but I would probably need two of these in the future. So this is all of the things I got in my HelloFresh. And HelloFresh, um, I believe it's $7.99 for shipping. And then I think each portion or each, um, the meals are priced per serving. So it's like $6.99 per serving. And um, there were a lot of awesome recipes that I wanted to get, but they cost more. So they will have like the regular ones that fit their uh, per serving price or they have a lot of other ones, but then you have to like say pay an extra two or $3 per serving. So I think this time I might've stuck with the actual price. So if that pricing is incorrect, I will um, update it down below or when I do some cooking. So I will, um, this is the intro. And then on the day I cook this, I will cook some up and show you. So anyway, thank you so much. And um, the next thing you'll see will be me cooking. Happy Easter, everybody. Um, so yesterday I filmed my intro to HelloFresh. Today we're gonna make mozzarella stuffed caprese burgers. And yesterday I did have a little bit of my pricing kind of messed up. <clears throat> messed up. So it was $8.99 per serving and $7.99 for shipping total. And so for three meals for two people, um, it was $61.93. So as you might have noticed my confusion yesterday, they sent me the wrong card. So I just went online and printed this out. I am interested to see how big of burgers this can possibly make. My guess is I'm either gonna be surprised or they're gonna be small. So everything you need is packed in this bag. The bag is recyclable. We have basil, we have a tomato, we have two buns, I believe they're brioche buns. Let's just dump everything out. Let's see, we have a pack of cheese, mayonnaise, I think it's funny they even give you mayonnaise, Parmesan cheese, a sour cream, a pack of Italian seasoning, and then there's, um, I have seven in my hand and there's two more down here. So some small potatoes. So I, I'm interested to see how many servings this gets. I need to get my recipe cards out from before. Like I said, I had tried um, another brand before. I forget what brand it was, but I felt like you got really nice portions. Like technically um, our two servings could have probably fed four or we definitely at least had one or two servings of leftovers. I totally get this is a burger, so you're not gonna really have leftovers. So I don't know, like I understand that you're caught, you're paying for the convenience, you're paying for shipping, and you're paying for new recipes. But overall, the ingredients, I feel like if you were shopping on your own, you could have done it much cheaper. But I'm very excited to try this, and I totally understand that I'm paying for the service. So I'm going to turn you guys off and kind of um, turn the camera around and, and maybe um, start this and we will see what it comes out to be. Okay, so the first step was to raise the rack in your oven, and then it was basically to cut the potatoes in little rounds, because you're kind of gonna make kind of some um, potatoes. And so everything is nicely um, laid out. So if for some reason you're not a good cook, I feel like I'm a better baker, um, everything is so easy and I don't know where I put them, but most of them, they come on a nice recipe card. Like I said, for whatever reason, they put the wrong ones. So I have sliced all of the potatoes and it basically says to put two tablespoons of olive oil. So I have my olive oil and my measuring. I'm not quite sure you really need two 
but we'll go with it. Seems like a lot. I kind of use less oil. Um, it talks about like a dash of salt and pepper, and then it gives you all of the seasoning. So I'm gonna mix that up first, and then it says um, use half the Italian seasoning. So I like that everything is really well labeled. This is an easy tear package. And I think they probably, um, I'm just gonna um, pour some in and then mix it around. And it says to spread on a baking sheet and then you're gonna put it on the top rack. My secret is parchment paper. Yes, I put way too much. Had I been filming this, I had a debacle um, with the parchment paper and I think the parchment paper won. So there's more here than needed. <clears throat> so it says to spread out on a baking sheet. It says they can be overlapping. So I'm gonna spread it out, but not really be too picky. I'm gonna do a little bit more um, <clears throat> salt and pepper and a little more of the Italian seasoning because I didn't come close earlier to even using half. So after he says that, um, it says roast on the top rack for 15 um, to 20 minutes. So that is what that looks like and I'll see you in a second. All right, I am back. It is saying to mince the garlic leaves and you know, because I printed the directions, there's no pictures. I feel like there might've been um, pictures had I gotten the real recipe card. So I don't have a fancy mincer. I have a garlic mincer. I'm not sure that works or does not work for basil. So I am just gonna improvise and you know, sort of cut it in smaller pieces. This smells so nice, like so fresh. Um, so I'm not, I think mincing makes it means like little small pieces, but I'm gonna, you know, like I said, improvise and just cut it up. So another step, it has you putting some garlic powder with butter, microwaving that, <clears throat> and they have it in steps, step one, step two, step three. So step three <clears throat> says to combine the mayonnaise. I do appreciate how they have everything labeled. So um, I have my little bowl here. I'm gonna put the mayonnaise in. So we're combining the, mice, uh, the mayonnaise, the sour cream, and the minced basil. So if you guys have any recommendations on in the future, if something calls for mincing, how I could do that, because I don't really think they want as big a pieces as I have. Maybe I'll get out my garlic mincer and try that, but I'm not sure. Ooh. I had thought I'd put the butter on 30 seconds. Turns out it was way more than that. I don't know if, so I have this garlic crusher thing. I don't know if that minces, minces things or not. Let's give it a try. So I'm not sure. I am not an expert cook by any means. So let's just see, and I'm not, see, I don't even know. No, I have no idea what I'm doing for the mincing. So I'm gonna put a little bit of the basil in, but you know, if it's a, if it's a thick leaf, then I suppose at the end of the day, it's kind of like eating lettuce. I don't know. I'm pretty sure that's not how it's supposed to go necessarily. So anyway, I'm gonna stir that. And it also says a little bit of salt and pepper. So this is, so I assume like the sauce for the burgers. So even though I don't think I was supposed to have the leaf in like that, it is what it is. So I do have the butter and garlic all melted. So next up is getting the beef ready, so I'll be back. All right, so next up we are getting the beef ready. It talks about generously with your salt and pepper. It wants you to add in the basil. Again, I'm pretty sure I did not do the basil correctly. It wants you to put in the remaining Italian seasoning. And I'm gonna throw in the garlic powder as well. 
I could have put it all in the butter. So I'm just gonna like go rogue and add it in to there. And then it talks about mixing that up. So I'm gonna use my spoon. I think eventually I'll have to use my hands. That is one thing I'm not that excited about ever is using my hands. So I do not have a food processor. So I wonder if I would have minced the um, basil with a food processor. I don't have one. Maybe I should get one, um, but it'll still flavor it. And like I said, it'll be like eating a lettuce or something. So then after you do that, um, you're supposed to make two patties. And you can stuff it with the cheese. I think I'm gonna mix the cheese in it. We will see. Um, it talks about um, divide mozzarella between the centers of each patty. So I may just mix the um, mozzarella all in and I'll be back. The butter and garlic were for the buns. So I have my little brush and I'm gonna brush them with the buttered garlic and I'm not sure yet whether they're gonna have you cook it on the in the stove or on the grill but I'm definitely gonna cook it on the grill so I'm putting the butter garlic on the bun you can come make the buns or the uh, things so the next step is to saute the tomatoes with olive oil and salt and pepper. I was just checking on the potatoes. I have never even thought to raise my um, rack up to the high, but it is toasting things really nicely. So that's another tip from these things is that you learn tips that you never learned before. The next step was also to put Parmesan cheese on the potatoes, and then I will slide them back in and let them finish cooking. The tomatoes are starting to saute. So here are the finished potatoes. They look yummy. And I have no idea whether this is too much or too little cooked on um, the tomatoes. I did add some garlic and garlic salt or uh, onion salt on my own. So we will see. So these are the burgers. They look really yummy and cheesy. The recipe has to, to pan fry them. I don't really pan fry anything. I like things on the grill. And then I think we took it upon ourselves to um, grill the brioche buns. But this is looking up to be really yummy, a very nice sized um, patty. So these look yummy, yummy. So this is the final look and I will come back on to let you know um, how it tastes. This mayonnaise, I tasted it after I spread it on, tastes delicious.